Hey folks, hope I don't scare you popping up in my persona like this, but this is what I look like when I'm using the Apple Vision Pros. So I'm wearing the goggles right now, and this is the virtual self that it builds of me, and it looks pretty crazy how good it is actually. But I wanted to go over some of the new spatial video features that are in the new iPhone 16s. And this year you're able to shoot spatial video and photo in all of the iPhones. So not just the Pro Max and the Pro, but the lower base model and the Plus. So I was wondering, is there any difference between the quality of the spatial videos in the Pro Max versus the cheaper 16 base model? But first I wanted to show you some of the new features that are inside the spatial section of the Apple camera and we can check those out because there's some new stuff. They're making progress little by little and eventually we're gonna have everything we need to really start editing spatial videos and creating spatial videos, no problem. So let's check out inside the camera app and this is what it looks like now and you can see that there's a spatial section uh, that pops up in there. It's not just a little button you click anymore and you've also got photo and video slider right there so you can choose spatial video or spatial photos and you can also see in the other corner there's a live button and this doesn't really work for spatial photos it, once you turn the spatial photo off then you can play it as a live photo uh, there's also a shutter timer button and so this is really easy now to get uh, pictures of yourself here i am setting it for 10 seconds i'm running over here I turn around, the cameras are there, you can see the little countdown still happening, and boom, this is what we get. And then another one that I tried out. So when you kick it into video mode, you will see that now you've got this pause button. You can pause the recording down at the bottom, which was always really hard to edit these spatial videos. At least you'll be able to do hard cuts and so what you do now is you press record and then you get the shot, you press the pause button, you line it up to the next shot, and then you unpress the pause button and it records all these clips back to back in one video file. And when you go to play it back now, you can see this is just one file. It's playing all the different clips and it's in spatial mode up there. You can check that out. Also in the editing section, this is where you're gonna find your spatial audio mix. You can do a bunch of different ones, standard, in-frame, studio, cinematic. This will all kind of change the way that it sounds when you're in immersive mode. But to tell you the truth, I have not noticed much of a difference. Uh, here you can also do the trimming of spatial videos and this is what it looks like when you're inside the goggles in an immersive zone and you're watching that clip and everything's all clipped together and it's just one file which is really nice. I wanted to test out the Pro Max versus the base model and I got them on tripods and I got them lined up. I wanted to see if the focal length was the same and you can kind of see just a little hint that the Pro Max gets you a little wider shot. It is very similar though. It is very hard to even tell. I have to get one of these clips where my face is close to the camera and you can see that the Pro Max is a little smaller. It gives you more area that it's filming, just slightly. But you can see that these clips look exactly the same. And so there's not much of a difference between spatial mode in the base model and the Pro Max, uh, which was surprising because the Pro Max uh, came with a 48 megapixel wide angle camera this year. And so I was hoping that that would help with the quality, but the quality looks good no matter what. These spatial videos look pretty crisp and when you're inside the goggles, and this, so this is what it looks like watching these clips inside the goggles in an immersive zone. I'm at the beach and you can just see these colors spilling off. When I walk close to the edge of the frame, it really spills out. It's pretty cool with these balloons on the side of the frame. I mean, it gives us really nice 
effect. So this was the base model iPhone 16. Looks exactly the same as the Pro Max. So that's good news if you were wondering if you could get away with shooting spatial video on the cheaper, inexpensive iPhone 16. Here's a good example where you can kind of see on the base model, I'm just a little bigger. And on the Pro Max, I'm, a, I'm just a, a hair smaller. So you do get a little bit more area with the Pro Max version, but really nothing noticeable. If you're gonna get the Pro Max, get it for taking photos and videos outside of spatial as well, uh, because that's where you'll really appreciate it. And also if you're recording any audio, I didn't notice any difference between the audio capture in spatial mode when I would kick it to immersive, that's when you really start to hear that full sound going around you. I want to test all those different settings of the standard, the cinematic, then see if there's any difference in how this all comes in when you're in the immersive zone. I hope that helped get you some eyeballs on what spatial video is looking like in the iPhone 16s. I'm very excited that they gave us some more features. Now all I'm waiting for is a way to actually edit these spatial clips. So little by little, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to keep in touch with you, my fellow Vision Pro people. I hope to see you at the next one. Take care.